Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm here today to show you the fastest and the easiest way to make a spiral bracelet. I'm showing it step by step and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to do it by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't. Also please like, share and comment this video in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the membership comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 seed beads in purple color, 8 beads in silver color, 4 millimeter bicons in black color, this is lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use others of your choice. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 as well. And these are scissors. And now if you want to do this bracelet with one piece of thread, you should take at least an arm span and a half of thread and if you want you could start with a comfortable length of thread and then add more. See you in a while. Okay guys, so I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful Eto beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And what I take here are two 11 purple beads one 4mm bicon and two 11 purple beads and I'm going back in circle through those four beads here. Okay, I'm going back through all of them, just like this. Then I want to go through those newly added five beads, okay, and I go like this. Now in my next step guys, I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice with the tail thread through the loop I've made, then pulling gently. Then I want to make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now I have this. Then I'll go one more time through all of those beads. And here is the moment guys where I want to add my clasp. And I take a seed bead, my clasp and a seed bead. And as I'm exiting here from this silver, I'm going backwards through those beads. I prefer to attach the clasp here in the beginning before I start the other rows of my spiral bracelet. In this way, I'm getting out of the way this part and I won't need to come back to it later. Okay, I'm reinforcing and I want to go back through all of those four atos. Okay, and now guys, I think it's safe to cut this tail thread that I have here. If it sticks out and it shows, you could burn it with a zipper. Okay, now we continue. I'm going to take one ato and this sequence, two purple, a bicon and two purple beads. And what I do next, uh, you see these four atos here. I go backwards through three of them. 
with this sequence I took, I'm going through three of them and pull. And after that, guys, you see I have this. I'm going also through the following one that I added together with this sequence. Okay, so now I have this. Now I'm taking absolutely the same sequence and as I'm exiting here from this silver bead, I go back through three silvers in this direction. Okay, and after that it comes the sequence, the familiar sequence. Okay, and I pull and now I do an additional step of going through this next silver again. Okay, and I have this. In my next step, guys, guess what? First, let me show you how they arrange. In this line, the spiral is starting to form. And again, I take 8 of silver, 2 purples, 4 millimeter bicon and 2 purples. And I go back through three of those silver beads. And I pull. And then the familiar step of going through the silver one that is on my way. Okay, you see how it looks from this side. It will start going like this. Okay, I'll show you a few more steps of this. Again. And again. familiar sequence and go through these three okay now you see my spiral is starting to form and I will continue these steps, guys. I'm doing one and the same step until the desired length. Nothing difficult, nothing complicated. So do it until the desired length and I'll be back to show you my result. Okay, my friends. And as I continue beading, this is what I have. I have the desired length that I want for my wrist. And as I'm exiting here, guys, out of this silver bead, I will take the familiar sequence one more time. Going again through those three beads, like I did before. And again through this silver. Now here, guys, what I want to do is to make a loop where I will attach my jump ring and I'm taking four of those beautiful purple beads and my jump ring like this and as I'm exiting here from the silver I'm going in the purple I have it attached now and I want to reinforce Okay, and after I reinforced it, 
I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Let's say I go through one of those silver beads in the middle to make my knot. And here I'm making a loop. Going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. Then I'm going through this bead in this direction. And I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my super easy and effective seed beads uh, spiral bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button. In this way you will be notified for, for my new absolutely free video similar to this one. Check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks and to a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. A lot of work goes in these videos and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.